Well, we've been talking about the seven habits of highly effective Christians and the great saints of old and, and how important it is for all of us to maybe to avail ourselves of these habits, to cultivate them in our life, to make the Word of God a priority in our life, to get rid of the weights and sins that may be hindering our walk and our run with Jesus Christ. And we talked about the idea of giving and how important that is, that is faith. The Bible tells us that uh, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And I hope I didn't lose you yesterday when I started talking about money. Uh, that's, that's a taboo subject. Uh, among many pastors today, but I, I like talking about it. Uh, I don't mind ruffling feathers. I don't mind getting the the irate um, uh, confessions of, of, of people who want to argue about this. I'm not going to argue with you. If you don't believe it, you don't believe it. That's between you and God. I'm just going to tell you as a Baptist preacher what I believe the Word of God says and what I personally practice um, and by giving it. And I guarantee you, uh, that this this pastor here is not getting rich. I dare say that vast majority of people I'm talking to to you today is make is making more money than this pastor is, and um, so it's not so I can get rich. It's so that you can be faithful, and so you can get fa be faithful. Today we want to talk about prayer, the the spiritual habit of prayer. That idea that I'm going to discipline myself. And I've said before, and I've said, I'll say it again, that one of the hardest things I can do during the day, and that's from the very start, that uh, is, is getting out of bed and getting on my knees. Uh, it's just so hard for me, but I've made it a habit. Why? Because the Bible tells us that Jesus rose a great while before day and went into a solitary place and there prayed. You know what? And as I pray, I pray over my family. I call them out by name, my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, their spouses. I, I try to cover them in prayer. Um, I pray for my church, and I pray for my church people by name, by name. Yeah, we um, Years and years ago, we had struggles within the church, and you know what? Uh, I, I attribute the fact that I began to pray for everyone by name, that things began to change within our church. And so I pray for everyone by name and cover this church, pray about um, things that we're doing within the church and, and so forth. I pray for pastors. I pray for these videos um, and, and, and the faithful listeners that, uh, that, that partake in this. It's that prayer is so important. I pray about my day. I pray for God to forgive me of my sins. I pray for healing of people that are sick, healing my own healing because I have uh, kidney disease and so forth. That idea of just covering myself in prayer, giving my day to God. It is so important. The Bible says uh, in Matthew 21, 22, it says, in all things, whatsoever you, sh you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. James 1, 5 says, if, if any of you lack wisdom, ask of God that he may give to all men liberally and abradeth not. It shall be given to him. That idea that you and I need to give it all to God. You want to grow in your, uh, in your relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, it begins with that communication. It starts with the word of God. It, it starts with your time with God. It starts with your making church a priority in your life, right? But it also begins with you communicating with God that I need you, Almighty God. I need your wisdom today. I have a business meeting today. My child has um, is, is struggling in school. My, uh, my wife um, has, a, has a doctor's appointment. Whatever it is, we pray. We cover our family. And I look at myself as the patriarch of the of, of our family. I told you we have 14 kids. A couple of them have gone home to be with the Lord. And, um, and I have 22 grandkids, one on the way, 20, number 23 is on the way. I have one great grandchild. And so I have a multitude of people that I have to cover in prayer. And they're in various stages of their relationship with Christ. Some are red hot for the Lord and there's some that aren't. aren't. And, and, and some may not even be saved yet, but I cover them in prayer. 
I cover them in prayer so that uh, uh, the blessing that I pray over them that will guard them, and certainly I pray that God will open their heart and make them more faithful in their relationship with Jesus Christ. And the same is true in the church. We have people with needs and people with struggles and people with questions and various various levels of spiritual walk. And I want to put a covering over our church. And I call them out by name because every one of them is important. I pray for pastors. I pray for missionaries and so forth. And that idea, and yes, it takes time, but it's time worthwhile. And most times I end my prayer because I'm alone with God. It's just me and God and my, my usually my two, two of my dogs there with me. And I end with my hands raised up, praising God, praising God. Spiritual discipline of prayer. It's so important for every believer, whether you're a layman or you're a, a full-time minister of Jesus Christ, to give our day and give our time and to yield ourselves and to confess our sins and seek God's will and his favor in our lives and for those who have been trusted to us. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.